Another day, another vlog. First of all, I want to apologize, man. My voice is jacked up. It's been a few days like this. Uh, anyways. Uh, but today's topic is about pitching. And specifically pitching, learning about your audience, man. I've been pitching for six years now. Here at his first business, I needed to pitch to raise capital. And I uh, learned a lot, man. I've done over 30 pitches, man. And uh, they're all different. They all require, uh, you know, different uh, ask, I would say. But it was very interesting that, number one, if you're in business and you don't want to pitch or you don't get uh, scared of pitching and all those things, you have two options. You either find somebody who's good in your team who's pitching, or you get over uh, But you, you're not, you're not going to be able to have a successful business if you're not able to sell. It's not just about raising money, it's about selling your business to companies, to people, to investors, uh, different stakeholders, whatever that case is. So just pay attention to this uh, vlog. I think you'll learn a few things. Know your audience, guys. Know your audience. That's the key of pitching, man. Don't, don't generalize pitching uh, one fit for all type of pitch. I, I, you know, I, I remember uh, I took a speech class in college. Uh, what, what year was it? Anyway, it was between 98 to 2001. I don't remember. Uh, and I clearly remember, uh, you know, when I went through the class, I was like, man, I will never be doing this, man. That's crazy. You know, you have to stand in front of uh, uh, the class and pitch. I remember clearly my palms sweating. You know, like, uh, like I, was, I was so nervous. And there's a study that says the sec second most fear uh, thing to do after uh, flying, or dropping out of plane. I don't know uh, what was the study about, but... Uh, I heard a majority of people scared of, uh, of, of doing speeches and, and of course pitch is part of that. Uh, but obviously, we live in a world now that you, you cannot succeed in business if you don't, if you don't speak about your business, if, you don't, if, you, if you're not able um, you know, to, to, to sell your business uh, in front of a, a crowd or in front of a group of people. So, so speech, pitches, you have to be very good at delivering the message and uh, very good at uh, explaining uh, your mission statement and all those things. I mean, that, that's part of day-to-day -day business today, man. But today I want to talk about knowing your audience. If I had to pick one of the, 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 the skill sets I learned the most for the last six years doing ARED, is knowing my audience and that really changed the game of my pitch slash uh, speeches you know and um, so give you a little bit of background you can check on my vlog I've done over 30 pitch and slash speeches and, and done a lot through conferences and presenting whether it's a red my book etc 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 I'm not the I'm not the best expert and I'm definitely not the worst, but I've learned a lot. Um, and, you know, a lot of people think, well, you know, this is born, oh, Henry, you're so good at it and all. Man, guys, practice, 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 practice. To this day, I still practice in front of a mirror and, and I, I, I get the, the outline of the, the pitch or the speech I'm gonna do. Uh, and then, of course, I freestyle. I love to freestyle because I love to speak from the heart. I believe that's the best way to do it because that will give you the confidence, the motivation to deliver you, your, your speech or your pitch, you know, looking dead in the eye to the audience. But knowing your audience, knowing your audience is key. You're not going to do the same speech from a, a, a crowd full of uh, uh, corporate guys 
and uh, a, a crowd full of, you know, regular individual like us, you know, so, or, or, or a crowd of investors. Those are different pitch because they want to hear something that they're looking for, you know, so it, it, it's very important. And, I, and it's like talking to, when we, uh, I know some people will laugh at that analogy, but you know, when you, when you, when you drop line, when you, you dating and you talking to your lady or well, lady won't be talking to those dudes. But then again, the word is changing. But anyway, I'll speak for men. You know, when you tell you you met you you meeting a first time someone uh, that you like, right? You know, you you just got you you're not gonna have the same message to even though some dudes do. Yeah. But you're not gonna have the same message to everybody. You wanna look what they're interested in. You're selling yourself, but you also want to say what they want to hear. You know, that's just that's just how it is, man. Pitch is the same one. So study your audience. So I'll give you a perfect example. Every time I have a pitch or a speech to do, I always do research on who's the audience. Who's going to be the audience? I can't tell you how many times I've been on a pitch or doing a speech, and I change last minute because I find that the audience either has changed or I didn't do the, the, the proper research on that particular audience, so, um, so know your audience, older, age, gender, all those things factor that in. You know, if you, if you have investors on that audience, then what you're going to talk? You're going to talk about how unique your business is, you're going to be more business oriented, you're going to talk about uh, your story, um, why are you the expert, why are you the person uh, to lead this business, why should they trust you. Uh, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. If you if you if you trying to do if you trying to get a partnership through a corporate, you know, again, same thing. Um, you 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 basically selling yourself, you know, um, you know, and the age group of the audience, and and always always throw some jokes in between. Humor always working. You let the audience relax a little bit, um, and it connect you with the audience much much better. Because you just don't want to be square all the time and just throw facts. And if you deal with people, be more of a storyteller. You know, and spend more time on the storytelling so they can connect with you. So know your audience, guys. Know or your, your audience is key. Um, and that's the most important. So I just want to throw that in. Uh, but you're going to have to do speeches. And last thing I'm going to say is, you know, if, if there's a lot of video on speech and pitches and all those things. Uh, but the last thing I want to say, practice your circle. Um, they'll give you the best feedback ever, you know. Uh, and they'll tell you, I mean, of course, select the, the, the people that is going to give you honest feedback. But practice. Practice also grow confidence, man.